Well, no one saw a massive landslide in a remote valley on B.C. Central Coast back in late 2020, but it was detected as far away as Australia. In a few seconds, 50 million tons of rock dropped from a mountainside into Elliott Lake. And the results of a new study show it triggered a tsunami 100 meters tall. As Ted Chernecki reports, researchers fear it's a red flag for any region where glaciers are melting. It was a helicopter pilot who first spotted the carnage. A mass of rocks and boulders had crashed into the Elliott Creek glacial lake, creating a 100 meter high tsunami. And now a new study has some startling findings. One was how fast that wave was moving. We're talking 180 kilometers an hour. Um, by the time the, the landslide hit the lake. Scientists were able to create an animation of what happened on November 28, 2020. Luckily, no one was in the area because no one could have outrun a flooding event that was over in a matter of minutes. A 100-meter tsunami is almost as tall as the highest span on the Lionsgate Bridge. You know, the terrain is much, much steeper, much tighter. And so there's really only so much horizontal motion that can happen. And that water really has nowhere to go but, but up. The reason they were able to replicate what happened so accurately is because glaciers in central BC are melting faster than almost anywhere else in the world. The modeling also showed how far downstream the flooding occurred, more than 11 kilometers, destroying salmon spawning stream beds. The reports suggesting this should be a wake-up call. As glaciers melt, they leave unstable rock literally hanging in the air, and in some cases, it just needs a little push to make it let go. November 2020 was unusually wet. Precipitation in some cases is that important trigger for many of these events. It's not always the, the trigger and we still don't know the exact uh, straw that broke the camel's back. In many ways we were lucky. A, that no one was hurt and B, that the glacier had been so well studied prior to the slide. But luck can only go so far, and scientists are now looking closer at all melting glaciers, especially those with shoreline communities within striking distance of the next tsunami. Ted Chernecki, Global News.